Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in with me this evening. I hope everyone has had a wonderful and blessed day today. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So if you have that placement anywhere in your chart, then there can possibly be a message here for you today. Keep in mind, you guys, that this is a general energy read, so this may or may not resonate with you. There's no possible way that this message can resonate with each and every last one of you. Flip-flop the energies around. Do what you got to do. Let y'all know how this goes. I can be saying he, it could be she, I can be saying she, it could be he. Um, whatever the case, I can be saying this is your how you're feeling, and this can be the other pe person's feelings, all right? Um, just take what resonates, okay? So... Let's go ahead and jump right into the messages and see what's going on. All right. All right. Spirit, most important messages for Aries, please. Most important message. Thank you. So we have distant horizons. <clears throat> so something is happening at a distant or either something is getting ready to come in from a distance that you are not expecting all right someone can be concerned about a situation here like really in their head thinking over and over and over like really concerned about something here all right let's see most important messages most important messages please aries Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. We have family room. All right, so someone may be coming to visit you. Someone may want to come and visit you, sit down and have a talk with you. Um, some of you guys, someone can feel like home is just not a home without you there. All right. Um, Yeah, I feel like. All right, so we had the gift card and the courthouse card. So some of you guys are going to be receiving a gift. This can be a gift, a gift from spirit. This can be a gift from someone. Someone may be wanting to come to your house and maybe gift you something. This person can be very concerned. Maybe they don't know how you will take to them. Um, but you definitely have some type of gift that is coming in. This can even be a spiritual gift. Okay, but we're going to see with the other cards what's going on there. Now with the courthouse, this can speak of some type of... Uh, Contracts being signed. Um, this can be a divorce. This can be a marriage. This can be uh, a contract of some type, some kind, some type of government contract. Okay. And we have um, mature man at the bottom of the deck. All right. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see. I'm just waiting for Leo to start acting crazy, y'all. Y'all know my bird gonna stay long, or, uh, quiet during my readings for those of you who follow me and um watch my readings y'all know he's gonna start acting up in a minute all right as soon as i start talking he's gonna start talking okay. he eating right now like always all right spirit tell us about this distant horizon tell me about this distant horizon Someone is sad. Somebody feels heartbroken. Somebody feels a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. With the clocks here on the tree and then those two cups right there, I feel like someone feels like they may have wasted a lot of time when it comes to a situation that has to do with love. Someone may feel like they may not get another chance with you, or this can be you feeling this way with this person, but someone here is in this really um, depressed, kind of sad energy here. We have the fool at the bottom of the deck. 
So someone here could um, be ready to take a leap of faith. Someone here can be ready to risk everything. Or someone here could have just did something very foolish. All right. And maybe that's why the other person is in this five of cups kind of energy. Um, feeling like very sad. You know what I'm saying? Um, stuck in their head with the eight of swords. Just like trapped in their feelings. This is like self -sabot sabotaging kind of energy. All right, just overthinking a situation. Constantly just thinking and thinking and thinking about it and not knowing how to free themselves from their thoughts. Because someone here may feel like they may not get another chance when it comes to a situation. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Someone wants to come in with some type of um, romantic gesture. Someone may want to bring you a gift. Someone may want to take you out. But the Knight of Cups is the energy of coming in, you know, with an offer. Okay? So you guys can be dealing with a water sign or an air sign. Possibly it doesn't have to be. Or you guys can have this aspect in your chart. All right. All right, Spirit. Tell me more about this distant horizon. Tell me more about this distant horizons, please, Spirit. Thank you. We have the Seven of Swords. So someone here was being sneaky, trying to get away with something. Somebody here, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but see how these books that he sneaking off with, that he trying to, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he done stole these books from, you know, the library, where, wherever this is, and he trying to run off with the books. But all of the books got swords in them. Y'all see that? They got, the books got swords in them. So whatever this person is doing or trying to get away with... I feel like whatever this person did, I feel like it caused the other person a lot of pain. Like somebody could have like, this could have been something that you have continuously been going through with this person. Like this is not the first time that this person has done this to you. I feel like this person constantly does things to hurt you and maybe now someone here is feeling like they don't know if they can continue on in this situation because they tired of dealing with all of the the games the manipulation you know what i'm saying the hurt the pain the lies the deception, like just constantly trying to get away with shit. I told you. This is not the first time that this person has deceived you. This person has done this over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's almost like this person intentionally does shit to hurt you. Now, why would someone even want to do that to somebody? I have no idea. But it's like, how many times is you going to stab me in my back? How many times am I going to forgive you and you're going to keep doing the same stupid shit? Some of y'all could have been with this person for seven, eight, nine, ten years. Seven, eight, nine, ten months. But this is like a repeating cycle. Spirit, tell me about this family room. 
Tell me about this family room. Thank you. So somebody want to come see you. Somebody want to talk to you. Somebody wants to apologize. So you're going to be getting a message with the Page of Cups. This can be like a little small message. Just something to try to see like how you respond to them. If you're going to open up to them. It could just be a simple, hey, how are you? Or can I come over? We need to talk. Or I miss you. Or it could just be a simple, hey, just to see if you're going to message them back. But you're definitely going to be getting a message. Because I feel like I said, for some of y'all, if y'all live with this person, excuse me. <clears throat> this person feels like it doesn't feel the same without you there. This person is very manipulative. This person is a trickster. Okay? Or either they're trying to manifest you back. But I feel like this person be on some trash. That's why you cut them off. Queen of Swords. It's like, finally, someone here is accepting things for what they are. So now you're in this Queen of Swords energy. I feel like a lot of y'all are going to tell this person, like, okay, that's fine. We can talk. You can come over. We can sit down. We can have a conversation. But you're going to be paying so close attention to every word that comes out of this person's mouth. I feel like a lot of y'all, this is what y'all going to be doing. I feel like a lot of y'all just going to be sitting there looking at this. And like the energy that you're going to give this person is like they know whatever they say, whatever they do, however they are coming to you, that they better come correct because y'all going to be just sitting there looking. You know how you can just sit there and you could just like, you know, somebody full of shit. You know what I'm saying? But you want to hear what they got to say. Kind of like you just let them sink their own self because y'all waiting to go in on this person. Whoever this is, this could be you, this could be them, flip flop it around, y'all already know. Somebody here is waiting to let somebody have it. Like what you just say? Like closely paying attention almost to the point I feel like this person is scared to say anything they want to talk to you they want to have this conversation but um you and this queen of swords energy baby they know they liable to get cussed the fuck out king of wands bottom of the deck they gonna do it anyways they gonna do it they definitely are Give me one on this family room, spirit. Tell me about this family room, please. We got the Six of Pentacles. We got the Five of Wands. And we got the Five of Swords. So we got five, five, five out here. So something's definitely getting ready to change. There's a turning point in this situation. Okay. When this person comes over to see you, because they're going to message you because they want to talk to you. But they kind of scared to talk to you. But they're going to do it anyways. Okay. They're going to take the chance and they're going to do it. This might not be so much of a good idea, okay? Maybe this person should have gave you some more time before they thought that they was going to ease their ass back over here and have some type of conversation with you in this Queen of Swords energy. Because whatever this person is going to say, 
You so hurt still from all of the lies and the deception and the bullshit that this person was doing with a sneaky ass behind your back. That this conversation ain't about to go too well, honey. This gonna cause a big ass argument, a big ass fight, a lot of conflict, a lot of confusion. Cause you're gonna let this person know I know exactly what it is that you've been doing. You betrayed me. You were giving to someone else besides me. You were seeing someone else. You were dating someone else. You were having sex with someone else. Like, this is why you couldn't be here for me like I needed you to be here for me because there was someone else in the picture. So this conversation ain't about to go too good. I don't know what they thought or how they thought that this was getting ready to go. But like I said, they don't care. They're still going to do it. But maybe this needs to happen. Maybe you really never, you, you, you guys, I, I feel like someone here probably never really expressed the amount of pain and hurt that they, like you might have cried you know, this person might have seen you cry or this person knows that they hurt you, but I don't feel like y'all Queen of Swords they ass ever before. But you're about to. Because you've had enough. You've had enough. All I asked was for a stable, solid commitment. But you couldn't even do that. You couldn't even do that. Spirit, tell me about this gift. Tell me about this gift, please, Spirit. Page of Swords. So they watching, they spying, they looking at your social media, they riding past the house, they doing everything, they trying to gather some information, they being nosy. But they spying on you. They watching real close. They watching you. They want to gift you something. They might be trying to butter you up a little bit. This is definitely a soulmate connection. Okay? Definitely a soulmate connection. You could have been in this relationship with this person for a very long time. Doesn't have to be, but possibly. To a source, somebody's at a crossroads because they know they have to make a decision. They have to tell you exactly what it is that they've been doing behind closed doors. They got to tell you what they've been doing, what they've been hiding from you. Because they know that you know. Of course you know. But they have to make a decision. Because somebody here ready to lead this in the past. Or somebody here needs to make a decision of who is going to get left in the past. Because somebody's getting left in the past in order to be able to move on. So somebody here has to make a decision. Somebody can be real closed off right now. Maybe like really in their head thinking about this decision. Trying to figure out who they're moving on with and who's going to get left in the past. Well, I mean, hell, if you ask me, if you got to think that damn hard behind me and somebody else, then you might as well take your ass over there. Because it ain't that much thinking when it comes to an emperor or empress. You understand what I'm saying? So how much thinking do you really need to do? If you're thinking that hard, then there must be some serious, deep feelings about whomever this person is that they was given to. So you care about them, too. Apparently, you care about something, and I feel like it's not me, because that's why I keep getting these fucking um, swords in my back. That's why I'm in this Five of Cups energy. So, tell me again, how much do you really care? We await. <clears throat> it's 
study long, study wrong. I'm just saying. Somebody here just does not want to be without you. I feel like this person don't, but they done. It's like, I don't be understanding it. Like lately, I, I don't know what's going on with the collective and what everybody, these masculines and these feminines. And it's just like everybody being sneaky and doing shit and, and, and fucking people's whole lives up and wanting to come back because they don't want this person to leave. Spirit, tell me about this courthouse. Tell me about this courthouse. Somebody want to be single. Or somebody about to be single. So this can be a divorce. This can be a spiritual contract. This doesn't even have to be because I don't see nothing here that says husband and wife not just yet because we got to clarify but this can be some type of spiritual contract that you have with this person this could be your twin could be not for everybody but somebody here is like i'm cool i could be single i'm better off by myself anyway i don't need you for anything i can pay my own bills i can take care of myself i look good i'm fine i'm handsome i'm beautiful Tell me what I need all of this bullshit in my life for again. Oh, wait. I can do this by myself. Very independent. A goal getter. Get up, get out, and get something type of energy. Need somebody for what? Because I love me. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a partner, but not one that's about to be out here doing all of this. So I'm good. I can take care of myself. So I need you for what? You don't trust this person. You don't trust them as far as you can see them. You're like, I don't trust your ass. Y'all very guarded. You got your guards up like none other. And this person knows that you do not trust them. They know you don't. But how do they expect for you to trust them? I mean, like, if somebody can answer that for me, then, I mean, I'll sit here and I will try to understand how this person thinks that you are supposed to trust them. Oh, I thought somebody was getting ready to say something because I, I, I can't figure this part out for myself. Tell me about this courthouse, please, spirit. What's this contract? <sighs> I swear to nerve of some people. I just do not. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Some of y'all is married to this person. We got the higher fund. Or this is a very, if you guys are not married to this person, listen to me. This is not for everybody. Some of you guys are married to this person. Some of you guys are not. If you are not, like I said, this can be a very high spiritual connection. Twin flame? Or soulmate? Somebody may need to learn some lessons here. Okay, there may be some lessons that needs to be made. Okay, and I feel for some of y'all, y'all might be the teacher teaching this person their lessons. Y'all getting ready to take them to school. Oh, you can't figure out how this goes? Well, I'm about to show you exactly how this goes. Oh, you can't get this together? Well, let me put these pieces of this puzzle together. Why don't you just sit right here and let me help you figure this problem out. I'm about to show you exactly how this goes. Somebody here needs to learn some lessons. They need to learn how to treat people. They need to learn how to keep it a hundred with people. They need to learn how there is something called cause and effect, okay? There's something called karma.
But now they stuck. They stuck in the head. They just stuck. Just hanging there looking stupid. So somebody want to be single. Somebody don't want to be in this relationship no more. They don't want to. They want to be single. They're fine by their self. They tired of going through this. Same old bullshit over and over and over and over again. And now somebody is just like, enough is enough. I'm walking away. Some of y'all could, like, if y'all live with this person, some of y'all are packing up and barely taking anything with y'all. Y'all are just leaving. This person is leaving this home with nothing but memories. There was a lot of love in this situation. A lot of love in this situation. And someone's looking back like, damn, like, I, like, this is it. Like, I, I really have to go. Like, I feel like there's nothing here for me anymore. They feel like the home is not a home without you. That's only for some of you guys. That empty ass family room. Because somebody here leaving. Somebody here is fed the fuck up. You thought about it. You in a hermit mode. Somebody here is in hermit mode. Thinking about it. Looking back on this situation. Looking back on everything that happened. And, and doing some soul searching. And trying to figure out. Where did we go wrong? Was it me? Did I do something wrong here? But you're going to get victory. After all of the arguing, the fighting, the bickering, the competition, the back and forth, the backstabbing, the lies, the manipulation. You're going to get victory. There can only be one winner. And that's you. You weren't the one that caused the problem. You or this person, whomever it may be. We're not the cause of this. It's going to take a lot of courage and strength for someone to get through this situation, for someone to walk away from this situation, but you're doing it. And somebody's going to be sad. Somebody going to feel regretful for cups. Somebody going to feel like they missed the opportunity. Or somebody going to be sad and regretful because they getting rejected. Somebody could have felt like they constantly keep coming. Like this is a cycle. Y'all told y'all y'all been going through this with this person for a long ass time. And they thought that you was always going to be there. But ha, huh, trick no good. Says who? Always? Really? Okay. If that's what you thought. That I was going to always be here to be your doormat. I was going to always be here to have to cry and heal and pick myself back up and deal with this broad or this dude or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was always, like, I was just supposed to be like your personal punching bag forever. I don't know. But some of them felt like that you were supposed to be. Spirit, tell us about this five of cups. Tell us about this five of cups. I'm confused. How the hell did they think that this was going to last forever? Because you accepted it time and time and time again. That's why. Now that that door is closed, they don't have no understanding of how. They can't even understand how, where did you get the strength enough to walk away from? Tell me about this Five of Cups, please, Spirit. You said, oh, strength, baby. I got plenty of that. 
Don't be fooled. It's over. I'm done. That was the last damn sword that you was going to stick in my back. I can't take it anymore. I can't. I can't take no more. I tried so many times with you. Time after time after time after time after time after time again. I'm done. This shit hurt too bad. Like, why would you want to? I feel like somebody like, why would you want to do this to me? Like to us? Like, why? 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 What? Like, was it me? Like, what did I? And, and no, it wasn't you. It was them with all the mind games and the manipulation and the deception. It wasn't you. Spirit, tell me about this eight of swords. Like I'm getting upset. Like somebody here really is feeling like they were the reason why this ended. And it wasn't you. It wasn't your fault. So whomever that is whose energy I'm picking up on that feels like they were the problem. Why this like something is wrong with you. Like you're not good enough. Baby, let me be the one to tell you. You are good enough. You're better than enough. If someone wants to hurt you and play with you and play the mind games and cheat on you and lie to you and play you like they, they like you they fucking fool, you have all rights to walk away. Hell no, it wasn't easy. Hell no, it don't feel good. Get yeah, that shit hurt. But you're gonna be okay. Cause there's somebody out there that's going to respect you. For who you are. There's somebody out there that's going to love you for who you are. There's somebody out there who is not going to be able to see anyone but you. Everything that you want and that you asked for in this person that they didn't give you. There's somebody out there that's going to give it to you. Maybe it's just time for you to take a step back and be single and to heal and do some self-love first. What's this eight of swords here, spirit? What's this eight of swords? Mental conflict about dropping these passionate responsibilities. See? You in your head, you feeling some type of way. Like, you... Like, you know you have to do this. You have to. Baby girl, baby boy, whomever this is, you have to. This situation is no fucking good for you. It's not. This is breaking you. Get out your head about it. You're going to be fine. You're going to heal. You're going to move forward. I know it seems hard right now. I know it seems like how, like you're so confused right now. You still trying to figure out how and why. Rejection is God's protection. Five of Swords. You're going to continue to let this person betray you and play you like a damn fool? Because they think that you are. They want you to. They just like, I ain't going no damn where. Like, I do this all the time. Like, this is nothing. Like, don't do that to yourself. Please, I'm asking you not to do that to yourself. You deserve so much more.
Tell me about this Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Tell me about this Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. I mean, hell, shit. They just want to keep coming out because they want to keep doing shit. Stupid shit. Like, just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. Like, how many damn plans do you have? Like, do you sit and with the fucking book? Like, okay, well, this is how I'm going to deceive them on this date. And then I'll wait two months and I'll do this this time. Like, keep coming up with ideas on how to stab you in your fucking back. And wait till you start to... Wait till you forgive them and give them another chance because you love them so much. And then they turn around and do it again. And you're like, well, what the fuck? You ain't about to keep doing this shit. I'm done. I said I'm done. I said I'm done. I mean what I say and I said what I meant. I am done. Good for y'all. As you should be. Y'all moving away towards calmer waters. Y'all taking these swords, y'all taking this heartache, y'all taking this pain and you guys are moving on. Fuck them. Because right now, now we're on a whole different level when it comes to this. Because now you have to do the work and heal. Okay? You have to heal. Whatever that means for you to be able to heal. But now you need some time to pick yourself back up again. Now you need some time to get back into your energy to build all over again without this person. And some of you guys don't know how that is to be without this person. But you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. And at the end, you will see exactly why spirit pushed you away from this situation. Spirit, tell me about this page of cups. They want to talk. They're going to message you. And when they do, there's a decision that needs to be made. Two of swords at a crossroads trying to make a decision. Or maybe they're trying to make a decision if they should even page you. I say I paid you. Paid you? Nobody has pagers any, unless you're a doctor or something. Paid you, or some of y'all might be doctors or something like that. I don't know, but I said paid you, so I don't, maybe. But somebody needs to make a decision here when they get this message. Are they going back to the past or are they moving forward? You see my thoughts, right? I know you see what I'm thinking, right? What's this Queen of Swords? You said, oh no, baby, something's here got to change. I said I'm done. Told y'all, this is a turning point. This whole situation is getting ready to turn around in your favor and not theirs. You need to just focus on yourself. Focus on your money. Focus on healing. Focus on getting yourself back together. Leave this shit in the past. Two of Wands. Leave it in the past. Or somebody wants you with this message because they want to come and see you to leave everything in the past because now they want to work on this connection with you. 
Well, how many fucking times do you want us to try to work on this shit? Like, how many times have I already tried to work on it? Spirit, tell me about this five of wands, please. Tell me about this five of wands. This message, page of cups. So expect a message because y'all, obviously you're getting one because this person is definitely going to message you. Or this person could be taking their sweet ass time to do so. Knight of Pentacles. For some of y'all, I feel like this person took a minute before they even... Or is or even is going to reach out and try to apologize to you. And when they do, I feel like that's when the argument and the fight is going to break out. Because this clarifying the five of wands. That's when everything is going to go the fuck down. Okay. Off with the head. Queen of Swords. Shit changing. Shit got to change around here. Oh, you took your sweet ass time to come in here and apologize to me too? Like you knew you owed me an apologize. You knew I was over here and messed up behind this. Like you knew like, but you took your time to do so, right? Okay. Well, now let me tell you how I feel. The lovers. Spirit, tell me about this six of pentacles. We got the four of pentacles. Somebody could have been holding back this whole time because like I said, they could have been given to a whole nother connection. And that's why this person was taking their sweet ass time to come in here and message you or say anything to you after they knew that they did all this bullshit to you. Because they was preoccupied. They could be trying to hold on to you and hold on to something else. Tell us about this five of swords right here, please, spirit. Tell us about this five of swords. Tell me about this five of swords, please. Tell me about this five of swords, please, spirit. Thank you. We got the temperance. I know they ain't asking you to be patient. They want to balance things out with you. They want you to be patient with them. For fuck, I, patience wear thin too. Like how much patience? This person think you like Superman or Superwoman. Like just like just do anything to me and I'm still going to stand. Like. Torture me, like stab me with swords and burn me up and beat me down and crush my heart, take it out of my chest and put it back in and I'll heal and I'll be fine and we can do this again. Get the fuck out of here. Patient. I got your damn patient. How many secrets? We got a lot of damn secrets. It's a lot of things here, and it's a lot of things that it could be some secrets that are you getting ready to find out. You could be finding out some more stuff that this person has been doing. On top of what you already know. Because it's a lot of things that's hidden. You may be finding out some more stuff. Spirit, what's this page of swords here? Are they watching and spying and ran past the house and like. Uh -huh. Is some of y'all could be pregnant with the Empress? Is some of y'all pregnant? Or did some of y'all find out this person maybe married? Or could they be dealing with their baby mama or their baby daddy? I don't know. Spirit, give me one more with this page of swords. Huh. 
We got the king of the the the, uh, the yeah the king of swords. I'm gonna tell y'all what I just got with this page of swords and this emperor and this uh, this this king of swords right here with this uh, four of pentacles and the two of swords. Somebody here could have been trying to hide a pregnancy, hiding that they got somebody pregnant. Because you see, with this four of pentacles right here, it's like they in there hiding. They working on something. They don't want nobody to come in. They just, the, the, the locks is on the door. They're hiding. They're working on something. They trying to figure some shit out. They strategically thinking on how to tell you. Remember, the moon card was just at the bottom of the deck. But they hiding. Because we see that they was given to another connection over here that they trying to hold on to, too. You know, you got to be fucked up. I ain't dealing with this shit. Six of swords. And I'm out. Tell me about this two of swords, please, spirit. Somebody here got to try to figure out if they even want to invest in this anymore. Who? Who decision? Because I know that ain't y'all decision. I know damn well y'all ain't even sitting over there trying to figure out if you want to invest in. See how the car just fell? Because it's bullshit. See if you even want to invest in this anymore. Really? No, 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 you don't. What is you investing in? Some more heartache? Some more pain? You might as well just go to the store and just buy some more swords and sit them next to the fucking bed. So every time they leave, they can just pick up one and stab you in the fucking back again. 